Listen in as five friends take turns weaving stories through the tabletop game of their choice. This is Five GMs in a Trench Coat. Welcome back to another Five GMs in a Trench Coat. Today we're playing Cyberpunk. I'll be your GM for the day, Jesse. And I also play a little bit of Wesley. Well, how about we start to my right today? Hi there, it's Adam. I hope you're enjoying the series, this this season so far. Uh, you know, it's our second season. We've been putting a lot of effort into it. Um, I feel like we're only getting better. Uh, and you know what? I play Doc, and we're gonna fuck shit up. I'm Tanner. John in the hospital kills time by watching TV and drinking, even when he's not supposed to. And thinking about throttling Wesley <laughs> for hanging up on him and when he was about to die. Yeah. That's, that, yeah. Well, you were being mean to him. I was telling him to get out of this. I was trying to help him. But she loves him. It's so bad. Um, hi, I'm Kim. I play Aku. Um, John's floor is pretty comfy. A little sad he's not here, but you know. What can you do? You guys are staying in his apartment while he's gone, I guess. Like, yeah. <laughs> we have nowhere else to be. Yeah. Have you been texting the code to, so that everything doesn't blow up? God, I hope he yes. does. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Just hear, like, a clicking noise in the corner. Like, What's that? <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm Tanlin, also playing um, Madame Despair, who, I mean, she's fucking living like Larry, so. <laughs> I hate Madame Despair. <laughs> John owes her one now, so that's cool. Madame Despair did nothing except have sex and then now gets a favor because John almost died. Yeah, you spent money, but you had sex and I almost died. I think I spent a lot of time at the hospital with John, actually. I'm, like, checking his charts because I don't trust the doctors. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Dude, John doesn't. Dude, John texts asking, can you come check this shit? <laughs> on my way. I'm already there. Yeah. He do OMW with the little car emoji. <laughs> You open the door, I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, you're already there. <laughs> yeah. I was just waiting, waiting for him to text me in the hallway. Like, I hope he texts. You know the, the standing emoji? You text the standing emoji? <laughs> yeah. I'm here. Yeah. He looks up and you're just standing there the exact same way as the standing emoji. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking, I sent him a, a, a picture of like a doctor emoji and the gun emoji. <laughs> What's he mean by that? All right, well, we have some time to kill while, um, John recovers, so uh, who wants to do their first side gig? I will. All right, roll a d6. Two. All right, you sold some uh, cyberware from a failed medical case. So you got 200 uh, eddies. Yeah, I was like spending so much time at the hospital with John, and then like one of the neighboring rooms, some uh, some guy, <laughs> the shit just, just blew out, and I just went and like, oh, take some of this. <laughs> just fucking, You're, I'll be right back. I'm a doctor. Yeah, I'll be right back. And I just went and sold it. I mean, you look like a doctor, so no one... Yeah, yeah. I am a doctor. Yeah. You're qualified. <laughs> yeah. You're fine. I went to medical school. It's not my passion, but it pays the bills. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if that was a real moment for him, that his passion was catering, really, and he's just like... I think, I think I'm realizing now that Doc didn't want to be a doctor, but it pays the bills. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's next? I'll go. All right, roll a d6. A five. Five. Did some modifications and repairs to some weapons. You got 100 eddies. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I like to, yeah, because I have my door, or no, I don't have my door open anymore because I don't have my warehouse. Yeah, I just like, I I put it out there. I'm like, if you need repairs and stuff, I like to think that I'm making friends with the neighbors <laughs> around John. And I'm just like, hey, you need anything fixed? I'm kind of bored out of my mind right now because I don't have my usual tools and stuff, but I need something to do. Oh, hey, can we, can I check my home? Yeah, you can check your home. So it's like uh, quarantined off by like the police tape, and then there's like a cop standing outside to protect it. Just one. Uh, yeah, just one. I walk up I'm like, hey man, why is this place quarantined? Like, oh, high levels of radiation. Oh, they just have one guy. Isn't that dangerous for you? 
I mean, uh, no, they told me as long as I stood outside, I'd be fine. That doesn't sound right. You know, I'm a doctor to pay the bills, but I'm a caterer as my passion. <laughs> That's weird to say. Do you want me to scan and see if you're, like, getting radiation poisoning? Because that doesn't sound right. Are you trying to swindle some money off me? I'm not going to pay you. I'll do it for free. For free? For free. All right, I mean, a little checkup didn't hurt. Yeah, I pull out the little hacking thing. I'm, like, waving it over. I'm like, doo, 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 and I just plug it in. <laughs> Okay, you plug in? I'm just going to turn them off if I can. All right, roll me a cyber attack. Uh, 19. Uh, yeah, so, uh, let's see. This cop, I guess, he'll have some cyber eyes. You can turn off his cyber eyes. Yeah. yeah. So he's like, ah! Oh, my God. Have you taken any drugs recently? <laughs> of course I have. This is Night City. Dude, this is an ongoing problem. I've been saying a lot of my patients, when I do doctor work on my free time to pay the bills, uh, <laughs> a lot of my patients... <laughs> have, there's this new drug going around. They call it Eyeless. Eyeless? Yeah, but spelled like with an I and then L-S. Like I dash L-S. Man, you know what? I think I heard about that. Did you take some on accident? Uh, I mean, look, I, I I like to do some like light stuff to help me relax, but... Obviously, you took some Eyeless. Oh, no. Here, sit down. Let me get you some water. Okay, he sits down. How, how radiated is that place? Do you think I can run inside and get some water? Uh, I mean, they said not to go in. That uh, Your face will melt or something. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to brave it for you. He puts his hand on your shoulder and he goes, thank you, sir. Yeah, I just go inside and take all my stuff. Okay. <laughs> Get some clothes. So you just got to leave them there? Uh, no, I go back out. Um, I, I like leave like a little go bag in the back so I can walk around back and grab it. And then I go back out and I hand him a glass of water and unblind him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, th- you sure this water is not radioactive? Yeah, I also crushed up some... Um, some flower leaf in there. Oh, okay. That's some hippie stuff. I don't... Oh, no, no, no. It's it's like a medication. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where'd you get real flowers from? It's not... It's, no, it's just called flower leaf. It's not... Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. It's oh. like a mixture of like Advil and meth or something. I just walk away. Oh, thanks. I don't trust... I don't trust Western medicine. And I don't trust the, the, that uh, hippie bullshit. So I'm glad that you got some good... Uh, some good pills. Yeah, stop taking too many drugs. No promises. Just don't take eyeless again. I mean, I did it on purpose. Yeah, just be sure you, like, remind your friends about how dangerous it is. Okay, I will. <laughs> I just walk up. I get my bag. I go tell Aku, like, oh, hey, there's only, like, one cop at my place, so I got all my stuff. I don't know if you want to go check your place out. Oh, shit. I'd be really like that, actually. Yeah. You want to go? Oh, sure, yeah, I'll go with you. We go to, we're going to go to, <laughs> we're gonna go to my place. Yeah, so well, you go to your, your place and it looks like there's just one cop there. And I, I look at Doc and I'm like, there's only one guy. Can you do the thing? Hey, man, what's going on? And like, oh, this place is quarantined for radiation. Radiation? Is it safe for you to be out here? Uh, yeah, they said as long as I'm outside. Are I you sure? I don't know, man. It looks kind of dangerous. They gave me this Geiger counter and he holds up like a little thing. like So it's, it's not clicking. So I think I'll oh, that one's broken. What? Look. Yeah. I Here, mean, let me scan fine. you. I start scanning him. <laughs> okay. All right, plug it in. <laughs> All right, he has cyber legs. Uh, I just turned his legs off. Like, ah! Oh my god, did you take eyeless? <laughs> What's eyeless? It's uh, it's this new drug, and sometimes it makes you go blind or makes your legs stop working. Yeah, that's what the LS stands for. <laughs> yeah, it's I dash LS leg stop. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Well, did your leg stop? Yeah, I mean, obviously oh, I'm on my the ground. God. Do you want me to get you some water? I mean, yeah, let me call for some backup to pick me up. Oh, well, no, hold on, because I, I have some pills on me that should probably fix yeah, it. Yeah, he just needs water to help you yeah, with the, get, the, what he gives you. Are you oh, okay if I go no. inside and get water? I'm straight edge. I can't take pills. <laughs> what about hippie medicine? I mean, I love hippie medicine. Perfect. I have some umori leaf. Umori, that sounds nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, you, but I need to get water for you to drink it. You can't take a dryer, you'll suffocate. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, but I mean, that building's radioactive. I don't know if I want to drink water from a radioactive building. Okay, well, can I go through the building to get to the building next to it? I mean, like, get to the apartment next to it. As long as you promise not to touch anything. I pinky promise. And so he raises out his pinky. I pinky promise him, and I just open the door for Aku to go inside. <laughs> You're like... That that is a bond between two men that I hope that you will never break. I'm not gonna touch anything in there, and then I, and I go into the other, to like the neighbor and get water and come back and then crush up an Advil and give it to him. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh, 
Okay, how long does it take for it to kick in? I don't know. I've heard you have to lay on your stomach for it to work. Oh, okay. Um, so he rolls and lays on his stomach. Yeah, I guess I'm like, all right, now breathe in. Breathe out. And then I turn his legs back on. Oh, 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 I feel better. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, remember, be careful with drugs. I am straight edge, so I don't take drugs. Then so. how'd you get eyeless in your system? I don't know. Someone must have spiked me. Did you share a drink with anybody? I mean, yeah, sometimes in the morning, like, we I all drink the same coffee cup. Lips. Yeah, I heard that uh, someone shared a Coke, and it... Yeah, and it, and yeah. it fucked him up good. Oh, man. Oh, thank you yeah. so much for informing me of this. Yeah, be careful out there. Yeah. Stay safe. Don't do yeah. drugs. Also, uh, you should probably go get that fixed, because that radiator thing's not working. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'll, I'll, I'll get on that right now. I'll call him up, tell him, tell him to get another Geiger counter. Yeah. I got a bag of my stuff <laughs> and put it in. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, and when you went into your, your workshop, you noticed that the place has been kind of turned around. So it yeah. looks like they were going through your stuff. Did they go through my stuff? Yeah, but not as much. They nice. Just, they just kind of looked like for, like drugs and I stuff. I took all my drugs. Yeah. Fucking losers. So they were pretty upset. <laughs> all right, Tanlin. <laughs> fucking leg like stop, dude. <laughs> I can't. Dude, I fucking can't. I hate you. Oh, shit. I have to roll, roll a d6. <laughs> Judged in the hospital. Three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're getting up to some Looney Tune shit. Yeah. You got 200 at Ace. You just got a paycheck. Your paycheck. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck, you just got a paycheck. Yeah, I, I hate you. I hate you so much. Anyways. All right. So, um, now that week goes by, and now uh, John is back to fight in shape, and you guys are all, um, so you guys are invited back to Tartarus, the nightclub. Uh, so, Jade, um, Fireflies. Uh, girlfriend wants to speak with you guys. Uh, which one was Firefly again? Uh, she's the one that gave you the mission. Uh, oh, she, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. the partial owner of the nightclub. Yeah. yeah. Her and Jade now own the nightclub. And we do too. I believe we worked out a 5% share. Something like that, yeah. I think that was, it was a... stupid, yeah. Yeah, it was something like that. I was purposeful about it because I was like, I want to make massive income. <laughs> That's exactly what you said too. I know. Dude, Anyways. Doc's an entrepreneur. Hey, man. Only, money. only losers work for their money. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so you all meet up in the VIP room. Izanami is sitting there with Jade. So uh, Jade is a woman with, uh, she has tattoos of Chinese serpent dragons dancing up our arms. A turquoise mohawk twisted into spikes um, coming out of her head. Um, and so she's sitting there. She looks up at you guys like, oh, come, come sit down, come sit down. So the reason I brought you guys here is because of Francesca's targeting software is really uh, finicky to use, so we're kind of afraid to mess with it too much. And um, either way, we need a new head of security. And so we found someone named Ellie. Uh, she's former NCPD officer. Uh, she worked for a SWAT team as their net runner, so she would usually hack before they uh, entered a building if, if they had any security systems. Um, but then when Miguel took over, she tried to help the performers that tried to escape, and because of that, she was fired from the NCPD. So I reached out to her, and she's interested, but she's currently in the middle of a case. Uh, she now works for the private detective uh, corp, the Danger Gal. So uh, this is when Izanami speaks up to let you guys know what Danger Gal is all about. So Danger Gal is, ran, uh, is run by Michiko uh, Sanderson granddaughter of the Patriarch of Arasaka. Uh, she allied herself with the US government after the Fourth Corporate War. So basically, you guys would know her. She's the granddaughter of the who's the head of Arasaka. She grew up in Night City her whole life. So after the Fourth Corporate War, Arasaka was kicked out. So she was gonna get deported to Japan, but she never lived in Japan. So she was able to make some backroom deal with the president so she could stay in the country. How old is she? Uh, she was... She's in her 30s. She's in her mid-30s right now. So she would have been... She was like 16 when okay, okay, the okay, okay. war happened. Yeah, I was going to say she would have been young, like a child, mm-hmm. technically. Yeah, yeah. And um, so it's, there's a rumor that basically if she uses her insider Arasaka knowledge to root out any, any Arasaka agents still working in the U.S., and that's the deal that she made. And uh, she also has a lot of pull still within Arasaka, although she's actively working against it. So there are basically three factions among Arasaka um, on how things should proceed. One is that Saburo, the current leader, uh, in his uh, that we should just keep following what he wants. Then there's also his younger, there's his son that um, 
they believe he should take over because he's like the wild child and then also her because she's very intelligent. So after this, she started her own uh, private, uh, private investigation agency and it is very, it is very successful. She went to college for like criminal investigation and so she's very good at her job. So she gives off this persona of being like this neat, naive cutesy girl, but she's actually like extremely intelligent and not someone to like underestimate. No. With her, you definitely don't want to make it known that you work for Arasaka because there's a pretty decent chance that she already knows. Yeah, I was going to bring up, I was like, uh, it, maybe this isn't the best thing because she probably already knows we yeah. work for Arasaka, so I don't, I don't want to make an enemy of her. I don't even want to make an interaction with her. Well, if things go well, then hopefully we won't have to meet her, and that's what I'm hoping for. All right. So uh, she said that uh, if you're, so she's in the, uh, unfortunately Ellie is in the, in the middle of investigation. So she agreed to join us when she's done with this current investigation. So uh, we offered to have you guys help her. And so she's like, uh, she, wants you, uh, she wants you guys to meet her at a diner. Mm. Um, and works. before you go, and she hands Wesley an upgraded cyber deck so he can hack better now. Nice. I'm shooting daggers at Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley just looks at him and looks at you and like gives you a nod and approval. He's like, yeah, it's thumbs up. I was going to have a last moment, like the last moments of my life could have been with him and he hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were telling him things he didn't want to hear. All right. So the diner is kind of in the shitty area. It's near the combat zone. So um, be careful. All right. Why would you have a diner in a combat zone. Well, sometimes when you're fighting, you get hungry. It's I only guess. Yeah, you know? To replenish electrolytes and shit like that. Thanks, yeah. everyone. <laughs> we don't know what a rhetorical question is. <laughs> so Jesse will drive there? All right, you get to the diner. It's it's kind of it's a bit run down, and it has some bullet holes in it because it's so close to the combat shotgun. zone. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I ride, I ride shotgun. <laughs> I really like the slow <laughs> shotgun. All right, so... Yeah, uh, you walk in and Ellie is sitting there. Uh, she's in her late forties, messy violet <laughs> hair, with uh, the left side of her uh, uh, of her head shaved. Um, there's cybernetics running through the veins of her head on that exposed area. She's wearing uh, black ripped jeans, a leather uh, leather dark brown jacket with the samurai uh, logo on it, um, and she has some folders sprawled out on a table. And uh, she orders some kibble fries for the table. You guys can enjoy some fries. You a fan of samurai? Like, oh yeah, they're one of my faves. Uh, I love what Johnny stood for. I mean, I didn't like the whole possibly blowing up the city. You know, he's a terrorist. So what's the job? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you gotta separate the artist from the art, am I right? What's the job? All right, so she says, uh, there's um, an exec's son, uh, Aurelio, has gotten himself into the wrong crowd. He's gotten himself on drugs and uh, has either joined or was taken by Maelstrom. Um, we need you to go into the combat zone and drag him back to his family. We have an AV in the exec zone ready to take you out and get him out of Night City. Um, the, he he is a big cash cow for, uh, for Maelstrom, so they're not going to let him go either, either way if he willingly joined or not. So it's going to be dangerous, but uh, I think we need to get him out sooner rather than later. Can I get a sorry? Can I get a reminder on who Maelstrom is again? Uh, they're a street gang in Night City. That uh, their whole thing is that they load up on as much cybernetics as possible. Have we interacted with them yet or no? I uh, there was when you went to uh, save the um, the Arasaka officer. Yeah. And there was a turret. Okay. One of them was a Maelstrom. And then more Maelstrom are coming, right? Yeah, yeah. And we set the turret to shoot them. And, fucking worst. And, and I, we know that they are lightly or at least possibly tied to Babiaga. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, yeah. So, we got to gotta kick him out kicking and screaming if you guys have to. Mm -hmm. Does he have any cybernetics? Uh, well, so he's with Maelstrom. He, he has some basic, like, internal agents, some stuff like that. Um, nothing combat related, but if he willingly joined Maelstrom, then he's going to have, they're probably going to give him some. It's uh, good to know. I can't flirt with robots. I mean, they're human, technically. Yeah. I mean, some of them probably still have their dicks. What do you mean, some of them? I mean, I'm sure I'm sure if you're someone who's into cybernetics, the first thing. Some of them would just back. cut off their jaws, dude. Like, I don't know. Okay, like, you know, like, at a certain point. Yeah. They're not the most sound. Well, as you guys are kind of chatting, uh, a woman 
walks up. Uh, she's pretty plain looking. She's just wearing a black suit with a short black, a straight black hair, and she has a shiny left cyber arm. She has, she's holding a tablet and she pokes on it as she sits down next to you. It is Michiko <laughs> Sanderson. <laughs> so she's uh, so she says uh, so you know this is a big deal needs to be kept under wraps. So uh, trauma team can't be called in unless there's no other choice. Um, Isn't this what we wanted to avoid? You just don't want her to know that you guys work for us. Oh, so, so it is. But there's a chance she already knows. Yeah. yeah. I'm not looking up. I'm just like, <laughs> just standing Just down being it. more suspicious. <laughs> Delta's our specialty, ma'am. We will not call trauma team unless we absolutely have to. All right. So just so you know, um, he, there's a pretty good chance we believe that uh, he's he's in some Maelstrom chop shop getting some shitty cybernetics. So he might be high out of his mind. He might not even know up from down. And you would like him alive, not dead. Yeah, yeah, this, this exec is paying us a lot of money to get him out of Night City. I hope he's not on ILS. I'm seeing if it's been picked up by <laughs> by these people. Like, um, I don't, I'm not sure what ILS is. Oh, it's just a new drug that's out there. Oh, yeah? You know, tell me about it. Uh, I've just heard that it, uh, some people either lose their sight or the legs stop working. That's what I've heard so far. Yeah, you know what? I have been getting some reports about this. Some NCPD guys have been talking about it, causing them issues. People gotta stop doing so many drugs, not knowing what they are, you know? I think it goes like street name Eyeless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at like Aku, like. Yeah. I'll take a note of that. Thanks for getting it to our attention. Mm-hmm. Um, you have any information on the location that we'll be infiltrating? Uh, yeah, we have it. So she, she's able to. She hands you like a little shard, so you guys can plug it into your phone, so that you can get the info. Yeah. What does it look like, Jesse? So yeah, it's in it's in the industrial sort of this industrial part of Night City. So uh, there used to be like a couple little factories where they built cell phones, and uh, that's where it is. While we do this job, do you want us to add you to our text thread? No, I it's, don't. Yeah, it's I'm call. not interested in your guys' personal conversation. Well, no, it's not personal. It's like for the job. I mean, if you'd like to send us updates, that'd be great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thumbs up, Taku. Yep. All right. Well, uh, time is of the essence. So, would you like guys get going? You want to finish these fries? Like, I'm okay. I just get up and shotgun. I <laughs> just walk to the car and get in and just wait. I grab the fries as we walk away. Okay. I'm grabbing a handful from John. <laughs> All right. So, while you guys are driving there, your uh, madam, <gasps> madam despair, your internal agent just kind of answers a call on its own. Oh. Ooh. And uh, this whole time, Wesley's kind of messing with his little, like, new cyber deck. Um, so while while you guys are on the way to the mission, you hear Izanami's voice. So she says, don't respond. If you can hear me, just clear your throat. <clears throat> and so you also hear Wesley just clear his throat. So she says, inside the cyber deck I gave to Wesley, there's a special chip in there. We believe that this, this chip can induce cyber psychosis if we plug it into a person's internal agent. So, what we want you to do is your target, Aurelio, we want you to plug this in and we'll be able to activate it remotely. Uh, he's the son of a high-level executive at Militech and our agents believe that this would disillusion himself to Militech and we'd be able to use him as a as sort of a spy. Um, all you gotta do is plug it in. Find a way to plug it in and we'll do the rest. Good work. And then she just hangs up. As you clear, like as it like ends, you hear our, like you turn back into our conversation. I'm like, yeah, the college paper I wrote, John, was actually on possible cures for cyber psychosis because you know, truly we believe that nobody, even addicts, deserve to have a fate such as that, like being trapped in your own head due to decisions you made when you were younger, or you know, due to the overt selling of cybernetics or poorly made cybernetics to those under uh, disenfranchised and underfunded. You know, at least that's what I wrote about. I'm trying my best now. I've seen plenty of folks that come to cyber psychosis over my time. It's one of the worst fates a human being can befall. Oh yeah, as a tech, it's nasty. It's it's like watching a dog go rabbit. Yep. It'd be stupid to do that to someone. <laughs> 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 You don't even know how we got on the topic. <laughs> Cause like when you when you buzzed in we were talking about like favorite flavors of milkshakes. Am I getting paid extra for this? Remember, you're trying to climb the ladder. Oh true. And you want to win favor over. Yeah. This'll be a lot of not monetarily, <laughs> but this will definitely Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so now you're getting near the near the area. I'm fiddling with the radio. 
<laughs> just pressing it. I don't like that channel. I don't yeah. like that one. Oh. I don't like that one. Oh. And in the distance, yeah. you guys hear motorcycles, and so you know that Maelstrom uses motorcycles a lot. You don't see them, but you can hear them in the distance. I keep driving like there's nothing to do about it, right? Like, I just keep an eye out. Grenade. You want to throw a grenade? No, probably not. Send your bird out. Yeah. yeah. We don't see them. Aku's like, throw a grenade. <laughs> All right, Aku. Yeah, I'll just... Um... I like where your head's at. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's a problem. It's a problem. Um, I just want to see how far away they are, so I'll send my drone up to okay. take a look. Um, yeah, so it's flying around, so you can see the factory in the distance, and it looks like they're just kind of driving around it. Um, it's So they're a few blocks away. Okay. Looks like they're doing, like, a patrol. Looks like they're doing a patrol around the factory. Oh, can you map out the path they're taking for me? Sure. Can I? Is it just, like, a giant yeah, yeah, it's circle? A path. So, yeah. yeah. I'm going to hop out of the car. I'm going to catch up with you guys, and I'm going to skate that way. Okay. And I'm going to, like, assemble. Uh, I'm going to, like, I'm, I'm sure there's, like, wires laying around, right? Like, this is a fucking post-apocalyptic bullshit yeah. world. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some wire and create a, a, a neck length Garrett wire and just pull it across their path uh, and then tighten it really tight on the other end and then walk away. Okay, we're Skate gonna, away. We're gonna have to do some checks to see if we find <laughs> the right material for this. Just want to kill these guys. Well, I'm sure our jeep has a towing wire, so I'll take that if if, if it makes it easier for me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm there. Uh, yeah, I'm like, hold on, pull over. I got my like, can I borrow your towing wire? Anytime. You can borrow my towing wire anytime. Like, oh. I like unhook it and I just take off skating. I'm like, I'll meet you guys. Send me the pin. <laughs> Skate off. And I'm going to go tie it up. All right. Um, I'm just kill a bunch of these guys in one see, go. Let's see if they notice it before they hit it. Actually, Jesse, can I make it harder for them? You don't have to. Okay. Because <laughs> I was like, can I, I want to go on the other end of it and skate away so they chase me, but I don't have to. Never you don't have to. <laughs> they rolled really bad. <laughs> So yeah, so you you, uh, so you hear four dudes run into this thing and just get cut in half. I just like well, just walk out like, Ugh. and then I text, "Does anyone want a motorcycle?" Yes! Exclamation point. Is my towing wire okay? Is the towing wire? Yeah, okay? it's fine. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, was this all of the all of the motorcyclists the, that are outside? Yeah, that were patrolling. Okay. Do they have any like means of communication? I uh, I mean yeah they would have some kind of like walkie talkie or something. Um, I'm gonna grab it and I'm like, uh, we had we had to split up. Send out another another patrol troop. We're we're going after someone. And like oh, okay, where which direction? Uh, what direction would would this be? Like uh, we'll say you're south. Uh, just head straight south. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna clear out the motorcycles and the bodies. I'm just gonna throw them to the side and just wait. <laughs> Send another four. Oh wait, this guy might notice. If it looks like he's gonna notice, I'm gonna start skating away so he sees me. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, he notices. Uh, so if it looks like he's like, I'm like, and I take off frantically, like past it, so that way he just like, oh, locks onto me and tries to chase. He just me. barely got it, so yeah, he's not gonna notice it. Okay. Let me see if the other. <laughs> Another four dudes. <laughs> I text. I'm like. We have eight motorcycles. <laughs> so much money, exclamation point, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. <laughs> and I get on the walkie, and I'm like, there's a fucking bloodbath out here. We need backup, please send as many as you can. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and what I want to do is I want to leave these bodies here, but move the wire further back. So they're expecting the wire where the bodies are. Okay. <laughs> Oh, one noticed, two noticed, two noticed. It's coming up. I start skating. I I, I, I get in the middle and start taking off, looking <laughs> looking guilty so they can chase me. No, they noticed. Right, and they're like, on. oh, there's a wire here. What about the other two that didn't notice? Well, let's see if they were in front or behind. Okay, they were in front. So one of them gets cut in half, but then the other ones. So, yeah, the other two are behind it. So there's uh, two kind of sitting there. Hey, uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna skate like to, to the side of the building and just wait and just sit there. Uh, what what items do all of the bodies have on them? They have <laughs> fucking have... Looney Tunes ass <laughs> bullshit, dude. Yeah, they're gonna have uh, a very heavy pistol, and I'm gonna give them a shotgun. Do any of them have any incendiaries on them? Um, no. Okay. Oh, and they also have like a pipe on them. 
like a oh like a metal pipe. Yeah. So here's what I would like to do, Jesse. Mm-hmm. I would like to <laughs> hack into one of the bodies and just have it start shooting <laughs> in the direction as they're coming, and then I'm gonna climb inside the building and just skate past them. Also, I got a 22 for Cybertech. Okay. Uh, so yeah, they wing one of them. Okay. So yeah, they they hit one of them, but he's not too hurt. Um, so am I able to climb into the like building and get behind them? Yeah. Okay, I want to just come up and just shotgun, just shotgun to one of them to the head. All right. Uh, give me, give me a shoulder. Give me a fifteen. I got a twenty. Okay. Yeah. So you blast this guy. Yeah. So. Is that rolling? And then what's the rate of fire on it? Or one. One. Okay. So you only get one shot. Uh, oh, actually. One, two, three, four, five. They're gonna be next to each. So do you use like a, a, a slug or a scatter shot? Because they're I, next to each other. Use a scatter shot. Use a scatter yeah, shot. yeah. So you hit them both then. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you might have killed. Okay, so the one that got shot, you kill him. The other one is still okay. And so he's gonna turn around and shoot back. John got lit up by three guys with assault rifles. You might get shot with a pistol right now, buddy. I, I, you <laughs> no, know. he had a shotgun. Oh, Adam, I was just kidding. Okay, yeah, so he hit you. Oh, they got two sixes. So, uh, so oh, they got three I sixes. Got, I got 12. That feels bad. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real with you. <laughs> that doesn't feel good. I have two light armor jacks that make my... What's my SP? What's the SP? Um, yeah, that's your, like, armor points. So okay, I have 22. I have two, I have two yeah, do you add them together so that's uh, your head and your body? So your leg gets blown off, so you're now missing a leg. Uh, so you have uh, a minus six to move. I just looked down. Like, oh. You cannot dodge attacks, and um, your death save penalty is increased by one. He's the only one left alive, right? Yeah. Okay. What's oh, your health yeah. at? Ja- uh, how much yeah, damage, how damage do you take? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, this is right here. 24 damage. Uh, so I am at, what's 40 minus 14? 26. Yeah, and you're missing a leg. So, there's that. There's that, dude. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Hello, hello, and welcome to this week's middle of the episode. Our first ad comes from our friends over on Rolling Across the Pond. Our story begins in a far and distant land. A place ruled by houses of sentient animals and mythical creatures. An environment that is forever tipping the scales towards controversy and conflict. Grave danger lies hidden in every tavern, forest, and stranger's glance. In this kingdom, we will follow a deviant group of adventurers, brought together by chance, or perhaps by fate. This ragtag group of a turtle, a tabaxi, an otter, and a hound will travel across this great kingdom, fighting their way through the unknown and weaving a powerful destiny. This is Rolling Across the Pond. New episodes every other Friday. Find us anywhere you listen to podcasts. Rolling Across the Pond actually just finished the finale of Animal Kingdom, so now would be a great time to catch up on them before they start their next season. Alrighty, our next ad comes from our friend over on Emblem Trove. Why, hello there. My name is Henry, and I would love to tell you a thing that I do called Emblem Trove. What is Emblem Trove, you might ask? Well, it is your one-stop shop for custom emblems and logos for TTRPGs, of course. I specialize in crafting emblems and logos tailored to your specific needs. As a TTRPG enthusiast myself, I understand the importance of visual storytelling in your games. Whether you're running a medieval fantasy adventure, a futuristic sci-fi campaign, or anything in between, I've got you covered. Simply visit my coffee page to commission me and fill out all the necessary information detailing your vision for your emblem. I always love to include my clients in the creative process as well, so you won't miss out on making your ideas into stunning visual representations that will leave you and your players in awe. But that's not all! I offer affordable pricing without sacrificing quality, 
I even provide bundles that include multiple emblems at a discounted price, such as the Party Pack and the Lore Master Set. So why settle for a generic symbol when you could have custom emblems that truly reflect the heart and soul of your campaign? Commission me at Emblem Drove today and bring your designs to life. And always remember, every adventure begins with a symbol. If you're looking for great emblems and an affordable price, definitely go check out Emblem Trove. We'll have their links in our episode description. All right, before we continue on with the episode, I do want to give a slight content warning for gore. Um, this next part of the episode does get a little gory, so just be mindful of that. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. pull out my <laughs> my my pistol and just shoot him all right uh and i'm just like baba yaga sends his regards <laughs> and i shoot twice because i have two attacks uh one is 18 yep that's the other one is 15 yep they both hit. the first one is um eight all right and the second one is 11 he's hanging on by a thread he's still Holy alive shit. um can i can luck points go towards damage uh, yeah, sure. All right, can I put uh, three luck points into it to kill him? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can do two luck okay, points. Okay, I'll do two luck points into it. And, All right. Um, yeah, and kill him. But you still are missing a leg. I just sent in, I just sent in three of the, like, the leg emojis. Oh. And then thumbs down. What does that mean? And you cannot quick fix it. So you have to go to a doctor. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And then I send a picture. Ah. It's a live picture, and it's my, what would be my legs next to each other, but one's just not there. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> and I bite for it. Yeah. Where, where are you? <laughs> I drop a pin. And go to the pin. Yeah, I put like a garret around it, so I'm not losing any yeah, blood. Yeah. Also, my leg was mostly tech, because I had my skating oh, feet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you still, still got it. Dude, robot but, leg is kind of cool. It's still like it. traumatizing, you know? So... There's ah. still meat in there and stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just sitting there when you guys get there. Well, yeah, we're going to pick him up, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Surrounded okay. by bodies. You go pick him up. He's he's has a couple bodies next to him. Well, like, you guys got noticed. <laughs> you guys would know where the, the garret is. So. Oh, I, I'm going to crawl to take it down. <laughs> you have you have a minus six to move. I right have now? a plus six to move with my skatey thingies. Oh, so yeah. So you have a one move then. I mean, you guys would see the dead bodies, so you would know yeah. where the gear is. Yeah. You see me rolling up your wire when you get there. God damn it, Doc. How'd, you, how'd this happen? That guy shot me with a shotgun really close. Um, I killed all those guys do with we need the to wire a, trick. Do we need to apply first aid? You can't. This is too severe of a, of a wound. To, about, I mean, to stop him from, like, getting hurt more, you know? Uh, no. All right. Like... Yeah, he just kind of can't move or anything, pretty much. Uh, let's just finish the job, and then we can go. You, you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. All right, well, how are we going to get with the, one of these motorcycles into my car? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we could do that. Also, I'll just ride on the back of the motorcycle, and someone else can take your truck. Because I can't walk. <laughs> I can't move, really. Um, but we're not going to botch this mission you can, now. You can, you can, you can take... Shotgun, buddy, and I can hit I, the camera. Can I shoddily give myself a cyber leg if one of them has a cyber leg? So you, this is like traumatizing losing uh-huh. your leg. I so understand that. You can't on the field. You would need like a medical facility. I bet they have one in base. We get there when we get there. Grab that guy's leg for me. <laughs> Just point at Aku and point at the leg. All right. How easy would it be to take off, Jesse? I mean, do a cyber tech check. I toss you my knife. I John has pulled his katana that he grabbed last game, oh, yeah. and I'm like aiming it like above, like okay, this is it. Seventeen. Okay, yeah. So you can have it. You can kind of remove it. Yeah, I'll just pop it off. Wesley, can, would you mind cleaning that with my my medical supplies while we drive to our next destination? Oh uh, yeah, sure, sure. I just made him a ton of rubbing alcohol and a ton of iodine. <laughs> that should oh. be fine. Okay, he's gonna start cleaning. 
I'm gonna get an infection probably. God damn it. It's okay, I'll get I have all my meds back in your box. Thank god I didn't lose a limb, I guess. <laughs> I just got broken bone and the lung. You lost a leg. I don't know how I lost a leg. The double sixes was tough on my Yeah, life. that yeah. is tough. Yeah. Um, anyways, let's go to the base. Yeah, so we're driving to the base, I guess. Can I gain more health back by using first aid, or do I just stay at this since I'm missing a leg? You, I, I think you have a, you should have a medicine called, like, a quick fix or something I like do. that. I do. You can heal. Speed heal? Heal body plus will? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. It just says, oh uh, yeah. yeah, so speed body plus will, or heal body plus will. Yeah, you can only use it once a day. This feels like a good time to use it. Yeah, losing a leg is... Um, so what, heal body is... A skill? No, your body skill, and then your... Oh, you know. oh I, so I just add that much to yeah, it. Yeah. You guys... Um, so it goes to the 37th. Nice, that's bad. Almost full. <laughs> you guys see... I kind of, like, squeeze the, my upper thigh like this, and then you see the muscles <laughs> close the wound. Ah, uh, like, uh, nice. Oh, it's not bleeding anymore. Mm, sure. Well, we're going to get this job done soon, buddy. So where did you'll, I get this? You'll, you'll get Incredibly. Yeah. You're going to make it back, Doc. I'm going to make sure of it. <laughs> You're the best. All right, uh, let's get on this guy's motorcycle. Which one's the coolest motorcycle? Um, I guess one of the one of the guys that... that the, the last guy that ran through the gate, he had like a pretty nice red motorcycle. <laughs> I'm going to grab his walkie. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, so fucking many of them. They just headed north. They killed so many of us. I'm on their tail. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll, we'll dispatch the last. We only have a few more guys left. Send everybody. Oh, God. Even, even the guys at the gate? These guys are different. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll send them out. Imagine if a cyber psycho wasn't psycho. <laughs> and then I just, like, break the walkie under my foot. I'm like, let's go. Oh my god. Okay, so, yep, they, you hear a bunch of motorcycles and like some other vehicles just uh -huh. all leaving the facility. Hopefully the guy didn't leave. I think he's crossed. I take another walkie after I just destroyed that one just in case. Um, so yeah, I guess like Jesse, like I'll park outside because I feel like we shouldn't drive in. But I, you can't move. <laughs> Someone carry me. <laughs> Well, okay, if I could do one skate foot, can I just go, like, a shoulder over arm and just, like, roll? Yeah. Nice. Or you could stay inside. No, I gotta put my new leg on. <laughs> can you... Also, did someone grab my old leg? Because <laughs> I want my skate. <laughs> Aku, did you get... Aku, did you get my leg? I would've... Thank if you. If you asked, then yes. <laughs> you guys, I think, are now starting to realize how insane Doc is. Yeah. God. I've done all my own work. I think I say that as we're rolling. I'm like, you know, I've done all my own work. Um, mm, cool. Jesse, can we start? Can we? Wesley, can you do me a favor, friend? Can you try and find an access point? Look through security cameras. See if there's a uh, medical facility on this location. Yeah, there is like a so the front gate. There's like a little security box where they have like the arm that comes up and down. So there'd Idiots. probably be an access point there. And he said, "Send everyone." And I rolled, and they sent everyone. <laughs> So they sent all the combat guys. Oh my god. Well, um, Wesley, would you mind? You're like, yep. So he goes in. Yeah, he rolled real good. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he has access to the facility. And so he's like, oh, okay. Like, in there's sort of like, it looks like it used to be like, um, uh, what do you, what do you call the lounge room where like you take breaks? Break room? Yeah, break room. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it looks like they, they made that into like, uh, a, a cyber tech, uh, a cyber tech little clinic. How many people are in there, Wesley? So he says it looks like there's two Ripper docs, and then they're operating on someone. Kill two birds. Yeah, leave one of them alive because I have questions. Uh, Wesley, no, you're, Madam. Can you do me a huge favor? Anything. Um, so can you take? Can you find a wire? And I want you to string it up high and obvious. And then I want you to get a second one and string it up lower behind that one. Uh, actually, in front of that one. That's for when they all come back so they all kill themselves driving through the wire. Can I record it? That's your business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Flips her hair. She walks yeah. away. We hear her uh, heels yeah, so click away. I, I give her your, um, toe, your cable. Yeah, toe cable. And then, Leslie's like, I could set up a camera so we could get multiple angles. My God. Oh, God. God See, it. this is why you're my feet. I just murdered 10 people, and that's upsetting me. <laughs> you know, my leg's gone, but that's more upsetting. 
How you guys are doing with this? You hear over the radio? Like, where, where are they? We, we're driving around. We don't see them. Fucking shit! They doubled back. They're heading. They're heading. I think they're breaking into the base. Get here as fast as you can. Straight in. Huh. Uh, we'll be right there, boss. Aren't some of them on cars? Yeah, but the ones on motorcycles, I'm assuming, are gonna be going to the front. Well, hope. And we'll see, right? Yep. <laughs> well, then, yeah, well, listen. We'll deal with that when the when the time comes. But I'll, Madam's out here. I'll set up. I'll make like a spiky thing to put on the road. Right before, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm <laughs> or there. like right in the in between, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where the so, high one and the low so one. So the car are. tears through the first one, then they lose their their tires. Yeah, yeah, the next yeah, one. yeah, yeah. And then you and Wesley just fucking. <laughs> oh yeah, are there are, are there, there things turrets? Wesley can take care take control of? Let me. I mean, there's like a pretty basic one near the entrance, uh -huh. and then there are like a couple kind of spread out. No. Oh yeah, program that just to shoot them. Yeah. Can we do that? Like the last one was on space recognizing. Um, you'll need Aku to. To do that, Aku, I have a proposition for you. John, can you carry what is me? It? Well, there was something, but now there's another thing Anytime. that's actually. Important. Oh, <laughs> can you help Wesley do this thing for me? Sure. And it's not sexual, I promise. Mm, uh, I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> uh, can you handle the turret? Sure. Do you cool. want me to do the same thing I did at the. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm having John uh, Princess carry me. Okay. <laughs> Into <laughs> and I've loaded my shotgun with incendiary rounds. Real quick though, shouldn't I have a hand free for my gun? Yeah, you well, have my, my hand so, so so you have one under my leg. Yeah, gun. Like this. Uh -huh. And then you have me like this. And then I also have my shotgun with incendiary round. Alright. And we're only killing one doctor. Uh, yeah, it'll be okay. fine. Alright, yeah, roll the security tech. Air 20. Uh, yeah, so you have it. So it'll sh automatically shoot any mil uh, maelstrom it sees. Word. I'm like, handled. Okay, now that you've done that, I have another proposition I for start you. walking away. <laughs> uh, do we get into the Ripper docks? Yeah, so you go into there, and so when you walk in, you see there, it's, they look a lot like the, the guys that you saw in the subway with the dirty lab yeah. coats and the Gross. tech hands. So, yeah, and then, so they're standing over a person, and they sort of have, like, there's a big computer, and it has a bunch of, like, um, wires that are connected to the guy's head that uh -huh. connect to the computer. Ooh. Which one of you is running the computer programming? So it's like, uh, they look back, like, ah, uh, and so they look around and you can see there's a gun on the table and they're gonna try to go for Did it. Did any of them answer? No. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, shoot yeah. one of them. I'm gonna shoot the one that, that went for the gun. Okay, give me a roll. Uh, 17. Do we get any cool, do we get any extra points because we're, because we're princessing this? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you hit him. Uh, it's an incendiary round. What's the difference, Jesse? Um... Uh, if you look in like, there should be one one of my things that has like a bunch of details. I have the rules for incendiary grenades. Yeah, what's the rule for incendiary grenades? Uh, take two damage directly to their HP whenever they end their turn, unless they take an action to put them. Oh yeah, out. yeah. So it just does like that shell, but it does. Yeah, so it does shell damage and then lights them on fire. Yeah, yeah. Twenty five. <laughs> That's gonna kill him. He just blows up into fire. <laughs> I just look at the other one. And I just shake my head no. <laughs> so he's like, oh. so he puts his hands up. He's like, hey, uh, uh, what, what do you want? What are you, what are you here for? Were you the one running that system? We both were. All right. What uh, what kind of operating tools and medications do you have here? Uh, he kind of just like this is just a chop shop for the maelstrom. They they take out and install cyber yeah, tech. Yeah, here. You guys have any like antibiotics or anything like that? Uh, yeah, we have some antibiotics. So he kind of points to like a cabinet, you know, it's, it's uh -huh. in there. And I, I reload the shotgun and I, uh, and I, so like I, I flip around to like hold your shoulder so you can walk that way and I have the shotgun over your shoulder. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then also I'm going to ask you to put me down so I can start repairing my leg. All right. Once, yeah. I'm also like, oh yeah, sit down. Oh, so the guy sits down. Yeah. Like I'll sit down just with like a gun on my lap, like holding it, just like aimed at him casually. And I'm going to give myself a new leg. Okay. <laughs> Gonna need a really good cyber tech. How's your day going, friend? Well, it was going better, but I need to I need to get back to this or his brain could fry. Do I get any cool points for doing this myself? Just out of curiosity, like just out of curiosity, do I get anything extra right now? I, you can say no. I, I'll roll your. How about your? What's your intelligence? I'll let you add your. Or I'll let you add your tech, an extra extra tech on top of it. So that's going to be a 16 plus 14, which is 30. Okay, so yeah, it's going to take you a little bit of time, but yeah, you can... I, I loosen the muscles and the wound reopens. Oh. God damn it. Oh. And uh, I'm also going to remove the skate from my Actually, old... Actually, 
Give me a surgery check. Sorry about that. Can I? Well, it'll I it'll be the same roll. Okay. Yeah. So, and I get to add my tech or add my tech still. Uh, yeah, because you have a, you're in a pretty decent. Facility. Sixteen plus eight. Uh, Sixteen plus eight is twenty-four. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, you're able to. Still good. Yeah, it's, it's a little rough. You're gonna still need some time to recover, but you should be good. All right. Yeah. Um, I just like, I'm like, uh, John, do you have alcohol on you? Um, I pull a flask out of my like jacket, of course, and then I hand it to him. I drink a bunch and then pour the rest out on it, and then I just. You start just grafting this metal into my body. And I also remove the foot and put my skate foot on. All right. So, Aku, uh, are you joining them? Yeah, okay. I would have followed So give I me a cyber tech went. check. Hey, Aku. Yeah, see, well, while he's doing this, I'm like, I want to ask the guy, like, who's your friend, like, on the table? 18. 18? Okay. So so first you walk in, you see you see uh, what the other doctor sitting there. So you look at his, he has a sort of a tech hand. And so you you notice it, and um, it looks a lot like the kind of one that your parents had, because so they had kind of a special one that mm-hmm. all the tools are in the yeah. in the palm, and then it kind of like flips up to mm-hmm. each of the fingers to allow you. So it's like something that they designed themselves and cool. didn't like. So you notice it's like it's kind of a shitty copy, but it's yeah, definitely yeah, but it's a copy. definitely yeah. Yeah. Weird. So and you asked, what did you ask? What um, who's who's your friend on the table? Uh, there's some kid, Aurelio. He wanted to be Maelstrom. He, you know, some snotty, snotty teenager that grew up rich and wants to wants to join a gang. Fantastic, Doc. You want to take care of that, or should we have our friend here do it? He's the guy. This is the kid. Oh yeah. Uh, so I like finish. Like, oh. Oh, it hurts. Uh, yeah, no, um, I'll unplug him in a second. Question, do you know the Baba Yaga? Who's asking? The guy who has the shotgun pointed to your chest, and then I repoint the shotgun in his chest. He's like, well, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna save us all. Like, he's saving this kid. <laughs> How is he saving this kid? This kid will be able to put as much cyber tech on him as he wants and not go cyber psycho. The Baba Yaga has found a cure for cyber psychosis. I wrote a paper about that. <laughs> God damn it. I know he read my paper. Where, where is he? Is he going to be here? Is he here? No, no. He, he's just he, he's just having us help out Maelstrom for payment for their help. Do you know anyone who can contact him? Uh, I mean... I'm sure that Maelstrom has some kind of contact. Well, you're not Maelstrom, right? No. <laughs> Blow a hole through his chest. All right. No, you're just going to kill him. Okay. <laughs> so there is still the problem that his head is connected to this computer. Aku, you want to help me out with yeah. that? Yeah. So Aku and I are going to get to work on that. Yeah. I'm hobbling because my leg still hurts mm-hmm, really no bad. Mm-hmm. All right. So I believe that you, you guys... Both need to do a cyber tech check. Okay. Okay. Uh, 23. 20. 20? Okay. So you guys kind of mess around with this thing. So it, it's real complicated, but he's definitely doing something with his brain. It's almost like a lobotomy. Oh. Mm. So that... And then it seems like also they're they're kind of installing stuff into his brain that could possibly allow him to be kind of puppeted. I see. Oh. Can we download all that as well onto, like, Drive or something? Yeah, give, uh, give me a security check. Um, you're probably better than that. Uh, 24. Nice. Oh, yep. So you're able to download it. And I want to try to undo any damage they've done to this kid just so we can walk him out of here and he's semi-normal. Uh, yeah, give me, like, a surgery check. Uh, 18. All right. So, yeah, it seems like it's going to take some time, mm-hmm. so definitely Maelstrom's going to, because you have to kind of unplug them one by one, mm-hmm. and there's a bunch of them, and so you know that by the time you do this, Maelstrom will definitely be back. That's okay. I have questions for them. Okay. All and right. We have, our, we have our wire system set up, and the, the oh, uh, and we have the spike things, right? And the turrets are geared to shoot Maelstrom. All right. So you start doing that. So we have a first wire that's meant to be noticed. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, so they notice the first wire. So it's like this. It goes, um, first wire, like, is back here, the big wire, like, that we want them to notice, and then the small, like, the wire we don't want them to notice is in the front. All right. So, yeah, they notice the first one. They do not notice the second wire. So. There's also spikes on the ground. And there are spikes on the ground in between them, yeah. so when the cars go fast, they hit the spikes. So, yeah, so they drive... 
the ones on the motorcycles like go ahead, so they notice that, so they know something's up, so they they kind of gun it to come to get in there to try to because Maelstrom normally does like hit really uh, hit attacks. They just overwhelm, and so yeah, you take out like a good like three of them just with that. Yeah, I like to think we you even put the wire high enough for them to duck under. So that way they ducked and just hit the second wire completely. Yeah. Yeah. So a couple, several maelstrom are down. Um, there's a van with some maelstrom in them, and so that crashes. They take, uh, so they don't take much damage. <laughs> they get out of their car and get shot by their own machines. They take 16 damage, so they're they're all pretty hurt, pretty bad. And then yeah, they're gonna pop out. Okay. So, so, so one of them just gets lit the fuck up. <laughs> His head is blown off. Oh. Uh, but there's three others that kind of scramble out, and so there's three Maelstrom outside. Well, you guys are out there, right? Or did you guys come in? Well, I was I was gonna set all that up, uh, have him s- switch over the the turret to uh-huh. do the thing, and then just like come inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're just waiting inside now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So there's three Maelstrom outside, and they're coming. The turret's still Oh, oh the turret, yeah, the turret's yeah, the still turrets let me, still Hold on, on, let me see if they shoot back. <laughs> they might be dead. <laughs> okay, they, the one's, one's still alive. One's still... Dude, what a champ. It's okay, you need one. It's true, yeah. I'm like, Aku, can you turn it off? Okay, so one's still alive, one is really badly hurt, and then they, they, killed, the, they killed the other one. Okay. Um, do you want to turn it off? Yeah, I'll stop it. All right, yep. Yeah. And then I just want to... I want to tuck around the corner. Or no, I'm doing this. I'm like, John, can you go catch one of those for me? Um, you got it. <laughs> I'm just taking the things out of this kid's head. I, I I tip my hat to the dead body that just has a hole in his chest. Like, have fun, buddy. Oh, that's smoldering because he used the incinerator. <laughs> yeah. And then, I, yeah, I head out to the maelstrom and like to the two. And then I'm going to yell out to them once I see them. All right. What are you going to say? Which one of you wants to be alive? So they're like, well, how about we both just kill you guys? All right. And then I pull out my gun and I shoot him. Okay. Shoot the one the dog? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Give me a shoot. 22. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you yeah, roll damage. Uh, oh, and it's a rate of fire of um, two, Jesse. Oh, so you can roll again. Uh, 21. I can't do math. Okay. I, I was like counting dice, guys. I can't do dice math. Fuck. <laughs> 7, 12, 16, 22 for the first one, for the first burst. Yeah, that's going to kill him. <laughs> okay. So uh, there's one left. And then I look at the other one and I say, um, and he, is he the hurt one or the not hurt one? Uh, let's see. Uh, he's going to be the hurt one. He's going to be the right. hurt one. Um, all right, buddy, I can kill you right now or you can come answer some questions for my friend. And he's like, Ugh. Ugh. So he drops his weapon and puts his hands up. All right. Um, come on. And I'm going to nod him over. Come on, I'm going to holster my or shoulder my shot or my gun and pull out my revolver am i done taking this up by the kid's head yeah yeah so you're done yeah gross um oh johnny got him yep yeah one's dead thank you hey how high up were you how high up yeah like you know there's a boss and there's like the guy under the boss and there's the guy under the boss oh i mean i'm just i'm just the grunt that's why i was in the, the back of the van <sighs> Anyways, uh, do you know how to con- how you guys contact Bobby Yaga from here? Uh, I mean, the the boss always did from his from his office. Uh, you never saw him do it once. Uh, he was always in his office. He has like uh, some special phone or something oh, okay. to contact him. How about you show us your boss's office? Sorry, while he's distracted having this conversation, can I have Wesley go plug in the thing? Uh, yeah. I'm cool. around though. Oh. Yeah, but I'm, I'm scared not- of him. Well, but Aku <laughs> yeah. knows tech though. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know if you want to have Wesley try to be sly about can it. I, cause... Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Can I try and distract Aku with my stupid proposition again <laughs> while Wesley goes and do, does that? Aku? Yeah. Okay. You can try. I don't know what the opposing roles would be. Yeah, yeah I mean, I guess. So give me uh, a perception check minus two. Wesley's going to do a stealth check. Can I, Does Wesley have his own luck points, or is it just me? Uh, he might... No, he doesn't have luck Okay, points. so I use my luck points for him? You can. Okay, if need be. So you got an 18. I also got an 18. <gasps> it goes to the defender, so Wesley wins. Okay. Cool. I'm just like, so I'll go about that proposition. I so I, I heard... <laughs> <laughs> Wesley clicks in there with his agent. Gets it done. I did my job. Anyways, you were having a conversation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're like, take us to your boss's office, please. Oh, okay, okay. 
Uh, he leads you, so you go into the factory and you see they have like some people. They, they don't really look up at you. They're, they seem to be just like working on some shit. I wouldn't look up at me either. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he brings you in. So it's like probably like the, the supervisor's office that looks down on the, <laughs> on the work. On the work, yeah. And uh, so he's like, there's, he has this like old landline that he uses to contact. Thank you. Uh, is there a number somewhere? I mean, I, 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 he wasn't a very smart guy, so I'm sure he wrote it down somewhere. Ooh, that's great news. Question, all of your cyber tech that you have on you, uh, did you purchase that or did you take it from innocent people? Well, I mean, we got it. Are there really any innocent people in the combat zone? You're right, John. Yeah, I, I like he says, are there any really innocent people in the combat zone? I should. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. He had like two health. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Dude, we're cool as fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... And then I'm gonna go over to the phone and I'm gonna like lift it, the like landline up and look under it to see if there's a number taped under it. Nope. I'm just gonna start going through drawers. Um, yeah, so you see a piece of paper <laughs> fall out. Papa Yaka. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on our uh, young friend over there. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. Baba Yaga was here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna call the number. All right, so it rings for a few moments. Ring, 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 ring. You hear it. You hear like someone pick up the foot line. And was, yes. We need support down here. We need you to come check the kid out. I, I don't. I don't care about your maelstrom duties. That's all you. No. We need to see if he won't go cyber psycho. It's all uploaded. Mm, I sent two doctors, two of my best rippers, to look over it. One of them said, <laughs> "How? We got hit, but we handled it." Okay. Oh. I'll send a strike team. Okay, that sounds good. Where? I hear, right? <laughs> I, so Doc, in channeling the, the Maelstrom, is getting dumb? <laughs> <laughs> yes, to there. And when do we finally get to meet face to face? We'll, we'll see how things go with this. And if, if, my, if my experiments are successful, then we'll meet. Of course. And how many men should I be expecting? Because those guys that hit us came in... Hard. I want to make sure they don't have any backup. Oh, don't worry. Well, I just need. I'll send one of our best, and then two, uh, two, do, uh, two scientists with them. Perfect. We'll keep an eye out. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. So they're gonna send a couple people. I just hobble down. I'm like, oh hey, uh, heads up. We have some company coming. Quote one of our best. What kind of company? Besides oh, that. the Bobby Yaga is sending people down to check out the kid because I lied to him. But I figure if we capture, quote, one of our best, he'll know where the Bobby Yaga is. I don't... If he... If, if he's only sending one man, one and person. One person and two and two doctors. But if he thinks... So three people total. If he thinks one person could take out an entire strike force, don't you think we should... Well, no, no, no. I told him we handled the problem, but we don't know if they have backup. Yeah, but like only sending three people total, just in case. Well, we have prep time. <laughs> Us with prep time is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we already have the turrets. Yeah, we have madam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's. I, I, yeah, I would have been checking on like how how's Aku doing? You know, on the whole disconnecting the kid thing. Oh, I disconnected oh, yeah, him already. Yeah, yeah. So Doc we can just move him. Yeah. yeah, you can move him. Yeah, I think he's right. fine. Uh, can we wake him up? He purposely. It sounds like he purposely joined Maelstrom. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. Um, well then, I guess I'll pick him up. We should leave. Okay. Right? We should leave. We should get out of here. I think, okay, Tanner thinks we gotta get out of here. I'll level with you Kim guys. Kim also thinks we should get out of here. Well, this guy is finished. Adam knows we should get out of here, but Doc wants to catch the guy that's getting sent. Doc, I'm gonna level with you. I'd like to not die today. You almost did. I can't lose you. <laughs> I don't have time to unpack all of that, but uh, John, if anyone can handle one of their best, it's you. Uh oh. And you still can't move very fast, by the way. Oh, I'm aware. Yeah. I wasn't planning on moving. Doc, let me tell. Let, let, let's go to the van, and I'll tell you a little story about why we should not be here right now when whatever backup comes to help. But this guy 100% knows where the Baba Yaga is. And there will be another day where we will find another man who knows where the Baba Yaga is. Can it be... What would, would, would I roll to, like... Can you roll persuasion against me? Sure. And then what would I roll to defend? Um, Probably just your will. 
I got a 10. I got a 15. All right. Leave him a little note. You're right. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to drag over the two doctors they had and, like, lay them out. Actually, I'm going to string them up. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to write for you and then leave. <laughs> all right. Oh, I also, I tell all the, um, the workers that if they, if anyone questions them, they tell them that, uh, someone's, someone's coming in on Papa Yaga's turf. All right. New rival gang. And then I leave. <laughs> All right. So you guys make it to, uh, you guys drive out. Let's see. Yep. So, uh, it's uneventful on the way back and, uh, you make it to the AV and, uh, some guys load them up on a stretcher and pull them out and it flies off. You guys got a mission successful. How much money do we make? You make a thousand each. Oh, wow. shit. So that night you get a message from Izanami and she said it went better than expected. Good job. This is definitely going to get us get us up there. I do what I do and I do Madam. it good. Yeah. We're going to have to kill Madam and Wesley. Also, <laughs> I'm scared of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of him. Uh, can I go get a better leg? Yeah, you can go... Anyways, Aku, about that proposition. I'm not listening to you. You make us all uncomfortable. I say with unblinking <laughs> eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just wide unblinking eyes. I'm wildly attracted to you. <laughs> Get up and walk away. <laughs> uh, yeah. What all else? Right. Yeah, and that's, that's that. That's Yay! this mission. Yeah! yeah. Fucking yeah. went off without a hitch, dude. Dude, well, that's what we think. Yeah. What's a leg? Well, the kid. Fuck a leg. Fuck a leg, dude. I got a new well, one already. Kid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that kid's dead. That kid's super dead. Well, he went cyber psycho, killed someone, then they killed him. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, there's no saving him. He's functionally dead, but you know, maybe he's not dead, dead. I feel like he's dead, dead. Yeah. Because because her saying it went off better than we we could expect means that he killed someone important. <laughs> that, that's what that means. Yeah. No, it, it means they took someone no. out. Jesse, is that what that means? Hey. That's a, that's another story. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to Five Gems of the Church Code. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, you can go ahead and follow us on at Five Gems Official on Twitter slash X and Blue Sky. You can follow us at Five Gems of the Trench Coat on everything else. Um, if you really enjoy us and really like us, like, comment, share us with people. Grandmas love us. Share us with grandma. Um, you can also um, support us on Ko-Fi. Uh, and then also if you really like what we're doing here and you want to see other stuff made by us, you can go to... At Adavan's Armory, A D A V A N S, at Adavan's Armory, um, on Instagram and Twitter. We make 5e supplemental content there. Uh, Tanlin. Yeah, I do a lot of the art for um, shit, stuff. man, for a lot. Yeah. I do a lot of art. Uh, Gremlin Frog Art on Twitter and Instagram, F R O G G A R T. Um, PSA uh, Cliff bars are only really good for you, and energy drinks are actually very bad for you. I don't drink energy drinks, interestingly, but um, I do eat Cliff bars, so I'm really healthy, and um, yeah. Cliff bars are protein and calorie dense. They're not protein dense. <laughs> uh, they're they're ca- not good for you. They're calorie dense and they're sugar dense because they're a hiking treat. Yep. So there's something you should only be eating if you're working out heavy in a day. Um. Yeah, I am. I- I'm always working out heavy. You're right. I forget. Yeah. He's 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 doing all the hard all the heavy lifting for the pod. They're gonna kiss after this. We are. No. <laughs> Turn it off. Thank you. Bye. 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 We're not gonna kiss. Hello, hello. Thank you for listening to 5 GMs in a Trench Coat. Be sure to follow us on social media at 5 GMs in a Trench Coat on Instagram, Threads, and TikTok, and 5 GMs Official at, on Twitter and Blue Sky. Uh, you can also check us out on our website at 5 GMs in a Trench Coat.com. If you like this episode, please rate us five stars and leave a little comment. And if you'd like to support us further, you can leave us a little tip on our Ko-Fi at ko-fi.com slash 5GMs in a trench coat. Thanks and catch you in the next episode.